Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov, and recently in my plugin Cypress Test Real Simple, I had a problem. I looked at the test case IDs that it extracted, and let me show you in the finder. I have a screenshot. It did find a bunch of correct IDs, but then it found 4 and 82. So these IDs are obviously wrong, and it could not start a new test rail run. So those test case IDs come from the specs. Uh, this plugin inspects the test titles and then it says, okay, you have test case uh, 1 from this file and then 15 from this name and 1 of 3 right here. And obviously something is going wrong here. So what could it be? So I started looking and we find the test case IDs in this uh, file, right? Let me just pump it a little bit. And obviously, this is not robust. All it does finds a capital C followed by a number, right? So obviously, if there is a capital C anywhere inside the source file, it will be considered a test case number. And this was a 4, 8, all these stray numbers coming from. So we need to improve this logic and we need to test this logic right because every time you write a regular expression i mean i make mistakes well here's the problem we have a couple of cypress integration tests already right like something like this and we use it pretty much to test end to end that we can extract test real ids and report results but we need to write a couple of unit tests and a lot of people ask well do I have to bring Jest or Mock or A? I was like, I was like, no. If you already have end-to-end -end tests using Cypress and you just need a couple of unit tests, you know, just to like kind of fill the holes, just use Cypress to write unit tests. After all, let's say you can declare, you know, well, let's say find spec, and you can say if you have a function add and B, let's say right here. Right, you can say it adds two numbers. Now, so far we're writing a Cypress spec and uh, Cypress has mockup engine and chai assertions. So this particular unit test already works right out of the box. You don't have to do anything. Okay. Uh, and it even finds a problem. Okay. And I need to return it. All right, so this is the unit test, and Cypress already has full browser, so you can test all the browser APIs and use the methods. But in our case, it's slightly more complicated, all right? We are reading the file using file system node module. We use read file sync. So we do have to run, write, run this in node, maybe? Not really, to be honest. So. I assume that file system read file sync works. You know, call me crazy, but if that doesn't work, nothing else will work, right? So here's what we can do. Let's see, can we actually import this particular function from a Cypress spec and what happens then? So I'm going to export this individual low level method that just reads the file spec and finds the test IDs and converts them to numbers. And let's see if we can test it by itself. Okay. So Cypress spec is right here. So I'm going to put it on the side and I'm going to put the test runner. We don't have any iframe, so we can minimize it. We can import this from the source, find cases. And let's say we'll call it find test case IDs. Okay, so what happens? Well, there is no crash. Um, what about the file system import right, or require here? Well, we're using Webpack to bundle everything by default in Cypress, and the Webpack is smart enough to say, well, using file system, so I cannot really do anything, so I'll just create an empty object. And we're not calling find cases in spec yet. Right? That's where the things will really go sideways. So let's say, uh, IDs and we call it and we'll say spec1. Okay. Now this is where the actual code inside 
find cases in spec will run, try to use file system, read file sync, and boom. That's where it can operate. Well, here's the easiest thing I, I you know, I, I know how we can write this unit test. In Cypress, we can take this particular function that reads the source spec, and we can pass it by default. And so we're not hard coding it, so we're moving with side effects and we're making this function a pure function, right? It doesn't access anything, it only calls its input arguments. So right now, right, nothing has happened because we're still calling it by default. But what we can do right here, we can create an empty or like placeholder stop. So say read file using size stop built in method and what it returns. Now let's call it source and we'll say source equals and okay let's say c101 and some map okay now we have to pass it to our function under test and boom you can see the stop being called and because we have all cypress chai assertions we can say boom you know confirm the result and even better we can expect the read file to be called with spec, right? But not just that, it also should be called with ETF8 because that's how we call it by default from the source. And so we can extend this again and again. But this is the principle. If you have a lot of end-to-end -end tests, right, that run in a browser and you quickly want to throw a couple of unit tests, you don't have to bring a second test runner. You can, in most cases, either use Cypress to run unit tests directly in the browser, and even for cases that require node and file system, you can mark those external dependencies and still use Cypress to quickly verify your code.